I'm Michelle from Sculpture Placement Group. Myself and some of the other directors of Sculpture Placement Group are going to give you a tour of some of the sculptures in our home. These are little sponge sculptures by artist Magri Stensma. They're little cast sponges that were made for a larger installation at the Brigitte in Glasgow. These are little head sculptures by Cristiano Piccinelli. You can see that my husband and daughter have had some fun during lockdown with them. This is a ceramic orange and aubergine that was made by Erica Ayres and Garnet McCulloch for Glasgow International. So this is probably the first sculpture I bought. i am seen it in Edinburgh in the Collective Gallery when Andy Holden had a show there. And now Andy's going to be one of the first artists who does an addition with Sculpture Club. We've got this fun little dinosaur by uh, Gregor Wright. Great thing about sculptures is they can be good talking points. This um, sculpture, Total Crap, by David Sherry always gets a laugh. I've got a little collection of sculptures here on my shelves in my living room. I've got a series of fingers here. And this piece at the back by Steph Norwood. It's a carved piece of sandstone that's then been spray painted. Um, I think it's really dynamic. And then I've got a couple of pieces here by Toby Patterson. Uh, these were pieces I bought from a studio sale and they were kind of test pieces for uh, larger works. Um, and I just, I really love them. Let's see, over here I've got another sculpture by Ruth Svitalski. And that just sits on my mantelpiece. And I've got this piece here as well, which I bought recently um, from somebody off Instagram who's an artist and a furniture maker. And it's a kind of kinetic piece with iron filings that move. And I really love it because you can you can just keep it changing and move it every day. And I could just look at it for hours. And I've got this piece here by Emily Stollery, which is uh, foam and cement, which has been painted. Um, and that's in my bedroom. And I really love that piece. And I love, I love all of my artworks. They just bring me such joy every day. It's great having sculpture in your home. It creates an inspiring environment and it's great to engage with art objects on a day-to-day -day basis. 